Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am Starset7, and this is Starset7 Gaming. And uh, this is another Xur location video for Friday, May 27th. Uh, we're going to be checking out where Xur is here real shortly. Before we get into it, um, if you guys don't mind, do me a favor. Rate like it says just below my finger here. Hit that subscribe button and uh, come on over to uh, twitch.tv forward slash starset 7 gaming um, Come check out what we got on the go over there. Um, we're going to head right into Destiny and uh, see where Zer is and what he's got for this week. All right, so this week uh, you're going to head to the tower once you are at the tower and loaded in. You are going to head off to the left-hand side here. Uh, Zer is actually going to be back in the hangar. Head on back here. I honestly, I wish that uh, we could actually bring our sparrows into the uh, the tower. I think that would be pretty dope. But uh, yeah, so once you're back here, head off to the left-hand side. Uh, you'll kind of see the staircase and the tent and everything here. Uh, head on up the staircase and you will find Zer. So this week, as every week, Xur does have the exotic engram that you can buy for 97 legendary shards, or you can use your exotic cipher. Um, I've already uh, gone for the exotic shards and uh, hey, came up with lucky pants. Not so lucky after all. So next up for the uh, exotic this week, the exotic weapon, we've got the colony. Let's take a look at this thing. It's actually a uh, grenade launcher that I have not used too much myself. Uh, so the main perk on the colony is insectoid robot grenades. Uh, this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase target and explode close to them. So it's kind of funny. I've seen people use this in uh, PvP, and it is, uh, it is, it, it, I don't know much uses for it, but uh, it is actually pretty fun to use. You shoot your weapon, you can actually see the uh, little insectoid uh, grenade scurrying across the floor. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we've got the linear compensator. Um, for the next perk on here, so it slightly increases projectile speed and slightly increases blast radius, as well as slightly increases stability. Next up, we've got high velocity rounds, which increases projectile speed and increases reload speed. And next up, we've got uh, the serve, the colony. So in insectoid robot grenades quickly... Uh, repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. So when you don't have the weapon equipped, it's going to replenish from reserves. Next up, the compens uh, composite stock. Uh, so slightly increases stability as well as slightly increases handling speed. And if we take a look at the stats... Uh, the stats aren't uh, too terribly bad on the low end for our reload speed, stability, and handling. Uh, the blast radius, because this thing is uh, meant to be a proximity, so once it gets to, close to something, um, it will explode. But the blast radius uh, really isn't that big, uh, neither is the velocity. Um, so next up for this week, uh, for the hunter, we have the worm husk crown. Um, I actually used to use this uh, quite a bit with my build. <clears throat> so the main perk on here is dodging, um, dodge, dodging gives a small health and shield bump. Uh, so definitely when you do that dodge, you're going to get uh, some health back um, with the build that we got going right now for uh, the solar um, subclass, the Solar 3.0. Um, you also have a health grenade that you can use. Um, so paired with the health grenade and the worm husk mask, um, it is also a great way to uh, put that build together. Uh, next up for the uh, Titan this week, uh, we do have the Heart of Inmost Light. Um, this was actually, uh, Zer was handing these out, I think it was two or three weeks ago, something to that effect. And uh, I picked one up then. I also picked this one up as well. Reason being, let's take a look here. Um, the main perk 
So overflowing light using an ability, grenade, melee, or barricade, empowers other the uh, the other two abilities. And uh, empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. So the other big reason was the, uh, wow, uh, I'm going to go back out of that for a second and then go back in. Ooh, it says 108 resilience, but it, yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, should be 29. Let's take a look at that. I, I think that's a little buggy. Uh, yeah, so 29 resilience is the reason why I picked this up and uh, added it to my vault for now. Uh, and for the uh, Warlock this week, we got Karnstein Armlets. Um, so taking a look at that, uh, the main perk is uh, Vampire's Caress. Uh, so melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health. Um, and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. Um, so even uh, working right now with uh, the Solar 3.0 build, I do believe uh, Warlocks also have a um, health regen uh, perk as well. Um, so this will probably proc with that very well to keep you uh, a little bit more alive. Um, if you tried the new dungeon right now, we were actually in the uh, the last uh, encounter in the dungeon, and oh my god, god is there ever a lot of ads in there and keeping alive from those snipers is uh well it's definitely a challenge so getting stuff that's going to keep you alive um i kind of see why bungie has thrown this in here uh and this week for the legendary uh weapons that Zer has we've got the seventh serif um sidearm uh the whispering slab bow uh eternal blaze and scout rifle uh, long Shadow Sniper Rifle, Widow's Bite Sniper Rifle, the Seventh Seraph Saw Machine Gun, as well as the uh, Royal Entry Rocket Launcher. Um, so if I was to pick any of these weapons, I actually went for the Whispering Slab. Reason being is because it's got Archer's Tempo and Demolitionist. So let's take a quick look at this. Um, so Demolitionist kills with this weapon generate grenade energy activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from reserves um, so when tossing that grenade out you're going to be able to uh, reload this weapon from the reserves as well um, which i mean like for for this uh weapon it's it, it's single shot right every it's not like uh an auto rifle or a a pulse rifle where you're constantly having to uh, to reload or you have a, a overabundance of amount of reserves uh, to go back into but uh, I think it works with it plus we've also got archer's tempo so the draw time for uh, this bow decreases after every precision hit so landing those precision hits is uh, going to help out um, quite a bit for that draw time uh, draw time equals uh, more rapid hits that you can fire. So looking at uh, um, uh, this as well on here, uh, we have accuracy for our masterwork. So that's not too bad as we can see the, uh, the accuracy on here is a little bit low. Um, so masterworking that is actually going to help out. So I added this to uh, my arsenal. Um, because I thought it would uh, do quite well. Um, other than that, uh, you know, it is uh, season 17, so machine guns have taken a buff. Um, if you're interested in picking up the uh, Seven Seraph Saw and giving that a try out, um, seeing how it's doing this season, um, really, that's all I kind of seen that I would be really interested in this lineup. Uh, for the uh, armor set this week, we have uh, the took a fence armor set so don't take offense to this armor set but yes uh and really a couple of these aren't bad um i would actually go with uh the the, the arms uh the chest armor as well as the helmet they're really not bad stats on everything in here uh, moving on over to what we have for our roles for the dmt this week uh we're rolling with moving target being the uh, role on there and uh, as well as the honk moon uh, this week we're also rolling with uh, the moving target in my opinion eh, it's not really uh, 
not really the one that I'm looking for for a uh, perk on either of these. So I'm just going to head back over to the uh, camera screen here quick. Thank you everybody very much for coming along and checking out the video. Uh, don't forget, hit that sub button. If you can uh, hit the like as well, leave a comment. And uh, like I said, come check us out at twitch.tv forward slash starset 7 gaming Drop down in the channel and you will see a bunch of my different panels uh, for my social media. Come check us out. And until next time, everybody, be safe out there. Talk to you all later.